Good morning, boys and girls. I am here with your book for the week called Velma Gratch and the Way Cool Butterfly. And this week, you're going to use the book for a few different activities like we have been. So on Monday, you just listen to the story. On Tuesday, then, you're going to be retelling the story. And you can either use these retelling cards from the packet that you picked up. It's got the date on them. And you cut them out, match the picture to the words, and then put them in order that they happened in the story. Or you can use the retelling um, template on Seesaw. It's the same kind that we've used the past two weeks. Also, um, then on Wednesday, you can listen to the story again and find these parts in the book, okay? And this week, we're using um, character traits to describe Velma, okay? So you're going to read what happened in the story, and you're going to choose a character trait that describes the way Velma is acting. A character trait describes the character's actions. So if you're struggling to come up with a character trait, if you go to the slides that we send to mom and dad at the beginning of the week, you will find different ways to describe characters or their character traits on that slide. Then on Thursday, <clears throat> If you need to listen to the book again, you can, but you are going to write your favorite part of the book and reasons why. So this is kind of like an opinion. So remember, when we write an opinion, we start off with, um, my favorite part of the book was, and then you tell me why, okay? And then for opinions, remember, we provide one to two reasons why, okay? We also, um, the second grade teachers provided that um, transition word list that we use for opinion writing that is on the slides for the week if you want to use that to help you. But those are your assignments for the week with Velma. Now let's get into the story. It's a very cute story about a little girl who is the baby of the family. Okay, so Velma Gratch and the Way Cool Butterfly. So it's kind of neat. I noticed this when I read it earlier. But the front two pages are all kinds of different um, caterpillars. And I want you to look, when we get to the end, I'll show you the back and you'll notice the difference. So this is a really tall book, so I'm going to do my best to um, fit it all in for you so you can see all the illustrations. But this is, again, this is Velma Gratch and the Way Cool Butterfly. Velma Gratch was the youngest of the three Gratch sisters Frida, the oldest, had gone through first grade first, followed by Fiona. Now it was Velma's turn. And this is Velma here. The chorus teacher remembered Frida but best because she had a voice like an angel. The gym teacher remembered Fiona best because she ran like the devil. And the first grade teacher, Mr. Plexippus, fondly remembered both sisters because of Frida's miraculous math and Fiona's spectacular spelling. Everyone from the class guinea pig to the principal had magnificent memories of the older Gratch girls, but they could hardly even recall Velma's name. This made Velma feel as if she did not belong in the first grade at all. She wanted to curl into a ball and roll right back into kindergarten. Of course you belong, cooed Velma's mother, trying to cheer her up. You've only just begun. Soon everybody will notice you. Velma couldn't wait. She needed to be noticed now. <laughs> 